Hey, everybody. Welcome to Metal Custom. Today, we're going to be working on a sheet metal break. We're actually going to build this one out of some uh, scraps that we have. I was over in my old shop last week and uh, found this in there. It appears that, uh, Lord knows when I tried, we started to make one and never finished it. And it just don't seem like it's even anywhere near correct what I needed. But we've got enough metal here. We can use this as a bender piece. This is a base. I can cut me a piece of this rail for a holder. And we can redesign this and make us a nice sheet metal break. Which, I mean, we're just going to need one. It's almost 26, so let's just call it a good two foot break that we end up with. The first thing I need to do is uh, cut all this stuff off of here. I'm going to start to break from this edge. This is a this edge over here straight, so we'll bump there. I'll get that with the grinder and clean it up. Let me get this apart, then we'll get everything laid out and get our plan together. Got that cut apart. So now when I'm done. This is just some uh, steel tube in here. I think it's like some gas tube. I measured out four of these, and I'm gonna cut at an inch long each, and that'll be used for our hinge piece. I've got some uh, hardened bolts to go in there to hold them. Let me go ahead and see how straight I can get these cut, and we'll get these all lined up. Get all four of them cut. We went ahead and uh, grind them off and got rid of the sharp edge. Basically what we want is these two pieces to be flat each other. And we're going to be about right there. Run up against it. Give us uh, 24 inches. 
We had a two foot break split of them after what I do. What I'm going to do is make a way that I can bolt this down and of course it comes back up with a slide of metal in. And it's still holding to it, but I have enough room to get the metal in and out. What I'm thinking, I've got these two markers here that are really thick. If I welded one on each end, and then really some holes in this, and I'm going to come up through there. Put the string on here, and once everything's in there, I'll stretch that string out some. That I always have tension pushing up on this. So if you lose it, it automatically come up, slide the metal in, slide it down, hold it. At least that's what the plan is. All right, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and grind these, get all this paint off there. There's not a ton of welding surface I'm going to be able to get a hold of. I'm going to burn her in and build up on this back side. I think we can get that to where the holes and where it's going to so Let's get that done and uh, we'll go ahead and get our holes drilled. And then we'll see how that's going to work out. Got them welded on there really well. That's a build out. That should hold really good. Got these through. Got them welded. Put the uh, over the springs. Probably get some better springs later. That's all I have at the moment. Yeah. A little bit more spring than the try to find some better spring somewhere but the down. We might do the full guy. Yeah, it's pretty long after it's dead that one. Good, let's go on there. Be in there before we get out of it. That is a good fit. Now, definitely need to make a stand for this thing. Let's uh, get the thing off of it. That doesn't have to be here. 
Let's play the card. Or we can stay away from the light. T-post design. I have to come out and weld this on the ATM. Okay, I think I've made plenty good enough stand for this. Let me gather some materials and we'll get with you. Got a little stand welded up out of uh, what scraps I could find, some angle iron, and some pieces of pipe. Uh, I think this will work out just fine. It ain't something to, you know, jerk around and give it a lot of hassles just basically put a piece of metal in and bend it up. I think it'll work out pretty good. Tell you what guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean this up a little bit, get some paint on it. Once the paint dries, we'll put it together and we'll give it one final try and see how it turned out. This hand ain't too bad. Shave Like a crush on it. Put 
looks like that's what we're probably going to have to do with the R. This piece of sheet metal is just not strong enough. Let me uh, put a few minutes of thought into this. We'll figure out how to fix the top of the piece. Come up with a simple solution to that. I don't have, uh, I'm just out of scrap metal to make stuff with. So instead of making a uh, little truss for this thing, what I done was took it over there and put it in my tubing bender and sprung it here in the center. Well, as you can see, the center is lower than the hours now. Set it on a flat here just to see, see what I'm talking about. So I believe that should tighten down the good and square once we put some pressure on it. So you got a piece of metal right here. Still wanting to push it back. And since I don't have metal to make like a gusset thing on here, I think the uh, bend here will surely help. And the big issue we got is it's making the metal slide backwards. So uh, I'm going to drive this. And just piece of door trim. I mean, it may not even work, but worth a try. If it does work, it saves us a lot of time and trouble and headache. Tighten it down. Would you look at that? Just putting that piece of rubber trim on there, made it where the metal wouldn't slide, and I got a good deal. Oh yeah, ain't about bend at all, is it? Yeah, bad idea putting all that yellow paint on there. All it's gonna do is just chip it right off. Well, guys, there you go. Simple solution to a problem. Now, who knows how long that piece will last, but I mean, it last on a vehicle forever. And all we're doing is putting pressure down on it. Uh, it'll probably last a long time, at least until I can redo this piece out of something maybe thicker and heavier gauge and be able to hold more pressure down. But for now, that works. We got a 90, or we can do a 45, whatever we want to do. Well, good deal. Well guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, like I say, I just made this out of a bunch of scrap stuff I had laying around. But I mean, it's going to work fine. It's a little tough to push up. Uh, maybe uh, put a bigger handle on it will be fine. Uh, besides that, I mean, this thing's ready to rock and roll and get some use out of it. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you would, let me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on our Patreon, please. And I've been a little bit of metal to make things uh, a little bit stout. Uh, please, hit that share and that like and subscribe button. And tell all your friends. And let's get this channel on up there where it needs to be. Again, thanks for watching. And until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.